Trick Phantom Detective, and we're in prison with this crazy guy. And two other f bozos. One is the guy we're looking for. It, we need to find out his schedule. Oh, now I can do it. Once I'm not in the cell. Okay, so yeah. We got this dipstick, who is down here. Digging a hole with a spoon. We've got the guitar guy. We've got our artist, <clears throat> who we're trying to figure out the schedule for. And this one's empty. There is stuff over here that I didn't notice before, though. I guess there had to be for the camera to pan over. They didn't want to have just, like, blank wall above where this guy's digging. <laughs> what a loser. Alright, um... So, our objective is to read what's on this board right here. But we can't read. Because we're an idiot. Uh, now, we do know if we go down over to this switch up here, above the phone. Actually, can we use the phone to go down below? No, we cannot. We have not gone into that phone before. So yeah, we want to we want to be able to do that. So let's do this. Hmm, emergency button. Emergency in prison. That's got to be a pretty bad situation. Let's give it a try. And is it going to make us sit through the cutscene this Yep. It's I've already seen this, damn it. And now I got to wait for uh to go away. I'm a little annoyed it's making me go through this again. Alright. The switch is fixed. Now let's get back into his room. Uh, yeah, we want to be on the X. He's going to flush us. Down we go! He's so fast backing up out of there. You'd, th you'd think he wouldn't need the X to know to stop. Considering there's an alarm going off. I'm still confused as to what that machine is. Uh, now we gotta do this. He should grab a spoon, yep. I'm curious what he's licking off of it exactly. Nothing. Let's hop into the spoon. So we're about back where we were before. Alright, now we've possessed it and we've got it good. Alright, so... Are we going to have to watch that, uh, that cutscene for, uh... Yeah, it's going to want us to watch the cutscene again. Just cut some of this out. I don't know what the guard said. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. 
Let's go over to the thing and then we'll have our little revelation. How did we get over there last time? Ah. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are his family. This one looks pretty young, a woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did you do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Alright, let's get over it. The newspaper article has been cut out and framed. I'll just give it a little read. Tonight... I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory, but there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! I can tell the article consumes some kind of writing, but there, I have no idea what it means. In the article, there's a picture of the alleged culprit. Yep, it's this prisoner, all right. What well, am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. Actually, I guess I won't have to worry about that too much. Anyway, I might as well take a look around. Hopefully, I'll at least be able to find something out while I'm here. I can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, the ghost doesn't actually have hands. I suppose let's go over to his board. Uh, the work schedule for D99. Information Lynn's looking for it should be written on this blackboard. Fortunately, I've lost the ability to read. But here I am anyway. At least I can do is take a look. Huh? What can this mean? There's nothing written on the board at all! I think something was written on the blackboard for the other prisoners. This board is clean and blank as the day it was hung here. Interesting. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow, this work schedule for pre prisoner D99 is nothing. Well, that's convenient. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Time to get out? I guess. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read even if one can't read. Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. I better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. Alright, let's get out. To the restaurant! Oh, we gotta close the picture. D99, dinner! Oh! We triggered something. A chicken. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Uh, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D99? I know it's kind of pointless to ask now. But just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree, it's pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everybody. Myself included. Detective Jowd. So he is a detective. His name's Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to cut. Are we going to get to see what he was painting? There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who's the man in that painting? Oh, this? Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know? So I paint the faces I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. Oh, shit! Now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. He drew us. Fuck. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? 
Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating is painting a picture of me in his cell. I have to go see Lynn fast. And not for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. Time to go get some chicken of our own. At the chicken restaurant, whose name I've forgotten, to be honest. Yes, I know. I know. To the guard room. Ring, ring, ring. This is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, that's, I should probably give him a better voice. He looks like a grumbly old man. Oh, Chief, it's you! They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Oh, one more thing. Inspector Cabanella wishes to speak with you. Hey, it's Disco Man. Evening. Cabanella here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanella. Fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? From my baby. From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Yes, sir. You try to cover it up, but I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget, she's a fugitive after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. Well, I missed my... Oh, I did get a trace. For some reason, I thought the phone was in a different part of the building. Or rather, I thought the f it was a separate phone. Uh... Inspector Cabanella seems to be looking for her, too. Your Lynn, I mean. It's not his Lynn. It's not ours either, but it's not his. Inspector Cabanella? What would the special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened that we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanella must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D-99 and Detective Jow good friends? You sure about that? They were such good friends. How come Inspector Cabanella never came to visit him? He's this head of the special investigation. He's a very busy man. Oh, he's... he's mad. What's wrong? Jod was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me! Rotting away in a place like this, and I can't even do anything to help Lin. What am I doing with my life? Ooh, he's upset. Th this new side of you is kind of endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is work at fixing what you can little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It collapsed, you know. Ugh. What do we have to say? Then you should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from the police headquarters intrigues me too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. That white-suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's being considered a fugitive. That is not good. Wonder if I should go chicken on the chief and the inspector in white too. Well, 
I definitely think we should, considering he's a friend of the guy who knows me. Uh, external line, thank you. To the office. Let's see what we have to learn from these two. Preparations seem to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh? Inspector Cabanella? He's got like a Hitler stash, it looks like. Or at least a bushy stash. We were just a little too late. So close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X around it all night. If he shows up, we nab him. We can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it? He's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it? Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. No way. Is there anything to do in here? Uh, I can only move to... Oh, this antenna can raise. Now let's see what they have to say first, though. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Afraid I don't have the answers for you, Chief. I don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet, after seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape that the investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny, it's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Uh, no. Give me that, please. Nothing like it, baby. I want that tape. Why a murder case now, on, a, on such an important night? Tsk, tsk, I think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now, for the very reason that it is such an important night. Alright. Raise the antenna. Yep. Oh, I have something to think. Before I go find Lynn in the chicken kitchen, sounds like there's an important piece of info out here I shouldn't miss. Pretty solid evidence, he says. This I have to see. But it's funny. Why do I have this bad feeling about what's on this tape? Because it involves your murder? Let's lower the screen. And no one gives a crap. Alright. Let's find out. What's about... What are we about to see? The junkyard where I died had a security camera. And it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Do we have audio? Why did there why did smoke come out of it twice? I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me though. Lynn looked so surprised on that tape. 
What in the world did I tell her? Did I tell her to shoot me? I, I find that hard to believe, but possibly. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cavanella. It wasn't me that who played the tape just now, baby. And they're not going to question that. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cavanella. There's something on that tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at all the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is completely different. And he's right, that is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me down the stairs. But I changed his fate, so he could have been out of the, should have been out of the picture. But here I am, down on a lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. A cat? A cat had the force to knock me down all the way- I guess I was on the edge. I don't know. That was just weird though. A cat? Is that a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. It looks like my destiny of being knocked down the stairs is very hard to alter. Uh-oh. Alarm! Alarm! This is Point X! Come in, Chief! The Chief here! Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot, I told you to stay off the radio unless it was important. But this is important, sir. Someone else showed up. A rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? I heard she was on the lam. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? Detective! Get my baby away from Point X! Do it now, man! And then hold on to her! Yes, sir! I'll go get her now, sir! Uh-oh. She's in trouble. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at Point X? I guess she wouldn't have been there if we went to the chicken kitchen anyway. It took the Special Investigation Unit six months to pinpoint that location. Don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps. Shit! Is she dead again? What? What happened? Detective, come in! Oh, did someone other than Lynn die this time? Damn it! This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me. You might want to speed it up. Trick time! Get in that phone! We gotta go back up. Let's... Uh, let's listen to what I have to say first. So Lynn has shown up at some point X, but I thought she was on her way to the chicken kitchen. What's going on? Well, one thing is clear, something big just happened. Now we gotta go back down. Get in the phone! What are you doing? Get your buns over here! What did you say? Now if I- Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like for our poor hungry customers to have their food deliveries delayed. Excuse me. But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Did something happen there you need assistance with? I've, I've been ignoring his voice, but whatever. Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left here. I gotta go. 
Wait, wait! Oh, oh wait, there's a dead body there. I didn't even notice. What's going on? Something, that's what. That's what. Something is definitely going on. And that something is far from nothing, that's for certain. So, point X is the chicken kitchen. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be on my way. You going to point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's some place else I gotta be. Inspector. Your being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm going to see it through to the end. Besides, I'm not quite over yet. Or it's not quite over yet. Right. That's true. Do what you must, then. To the chicken kitchen. Because someone's dead, apparently. Prisoner D99 schedule for tomorrow with a blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out. Now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead, and my partner shot me. What do they all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point X the police have surrounded. The place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? And that's going to be it for this episode. If you liked what you saw, feel free to hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me and my friends, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. This has been Chaos King 1236 signing off. See you, everybody.